Hi everyone, my name is Katiane Souza. I represent my work, a systematic review of fault tolerance techniques for adaptive and context aware systems. Adaptive systems and context aware systems are able to modify themselves in response to changes in their environment. Uh, in this type of systems, all environmental conditions may never be tested during the development phase, so this can increase the risk of failures. To the best of our knowledge, the literature still lacks a comprehensive review that provides a broad picture, a big picture of fault tolerance uh, techniques in the context of adaptive systems and context aware systems. Then the, the contributions of this work are an overview of 41 studies that propose or apply fault tolerance techniques to these systems, a grouping of studies by the type of fault tolerance technique, and a character, characterization of faults that have been described for or reported on this type of systems. Unadaptive systems an adaptive system is able to modify its behavior and modify uh, its internal structure. For example, their components are resources. resources. Uh, the changes in context aware systems are usually performed by a meter, which is similar to a managing subsystem of an adaptive system. Uh, both of these systems share the feature of data monitoring to represent the system environment. Dependability is the ability to do deliver a service that can justifiably be trusted. Treats to dependability include the concepts of fault error and failure, uh, fault prevention, fault tolerance, fault removal, and fault for forecasting are a set of techniques that can be combined uh, and used for some system achieve dependability. Uh, so the focus of our work is fault tolerance and fault tolerance is intended to preserve the delivery of correct service in the presence, even in the presence of active faults. Uh, we found some related work, so Frey et al. addressed self-healing software, self-healing electronics, and self-repairing robotics. Uh, Eleuterio addressed dependability in dynamic software product lines. So addressed dependability solutions to self-management cyber physical systems. Uh, from the mentioned studies, only Eleuteri performed a systematic review, and none of these studies presented a description of types of faults that have been uh, identified for this type of systems. So believe, we believe that our set of studies can complement the studies uh, that we present as related work. Uh, we set, we set out some research questions. So the first research question is which fault tolerance techniques have been proposed for or applied to adaptive systems and convex shower systems? And the second uh, research question is which faults have been identified in adaptive systems or context aware systems? So we have some uh, study selection criteria too that, that were used for select our set of studies. The first one is they study or proposes or apply a uh, fault tolerance technique to adaptive systems or context aware systems. The second one, the study is a primary and peer-reviewed study published either in a journal or in a conference proceedings. Uh, we also have uh, exclusion criteria. So the first one is the study propo proposes or applies a technique to recover the software 
from failures caused by malicious attacks. The second one is the study is not written in English. About the search steps we followed, we performed an automatic search in many databases. Uh, after that, we performed backward snowballing and forward snowballing technique in our set of study recovery with the automatic search. Uh, for the carry for carrying out the automatic search, we use terms related to adaptive systems and contextual systems, and also terms related to fault tolerance. Uh, for select the set of relevant studies, we perform it four phases of selection. Phase one uh, involved uh, Duplicate study removal. Phase two, uh, in phase two, we performed initial selection. So we applied the inclusion and exclusion criteria. In the phase three, we performed the final selection uh, and we carried out the full reading of the studies from phase two and we reapplied the inclusion and exclusion criteria. In phase four, uh, we identified overlaps. Uh, I mean, studies that uh, were updated or improved by the out their authors. Okay, so after that, we performed a classification of studies. Uh, we select and <clears throat> and we. Uh, separated the studies per year, per type of research, which follow we follow it the classification proposed by Weringa, uh, the type of publication venue, the type of technique, and type of fault. Here we have the table with the results of the phase two and three of the selection. So in the final of the process of selection um, the final set was composed by 44 uh, studies and three of them was were subsummit um, so about the research type uh, 15 studies were classified as validation research uh, 23 were classified as solution proposal, two of them as philosophical papers, one study was classified as opinion paper, and we did not find studies of evaluation research and reporting experience papers. Okay. Um, regarding publication when we, we found 21 st studies published in conference proceedings, 11 in workshop proceedings, and 9 in journals. Uh, regarding the type of fault tolerance techniques we found, we found techniques related to real recovery, diversity, system reconfiguration, retry, hybrids, others, and exceptional handling. Uh, we identified 41 studies addressing fault tolerance in context sharing systems or uh, adaptive systems. We found classical techniques such as error recovery, diversity, and reconfiguration. Uh, fault tolerance phase such as error detection, error recovery, and fault treatment are addressed in the analysis studies we found. Uh, however, we noticed that error confinement was not very explored, explored in the set of studies we found. So only one study, one study uh, performed uh, analysis of coordinated atomic actions in the context of adaptive systems and contextual systems. Uh, 
regarding the classification of file types, uh, there is a uh, here is a table of types of faults we found. So we found four generic fault types, and the specific fault types were put in this set. So we have faults related to data sensing, faults related to executor actions, faults related to code elements whose execution produces an error, faults related to managed resources. So we, we identified uh, 14 faults that was group that were grouped in four generic fault types. Uh, the classified faults may affect different parts of an adaptive system or context aware system. So we found parts uh, such as data sensing, actuators, algorithms and managed resources. The, the threats to validity of our work are uh, related to planning. I mean, the lack of standard terminology can uh, be a treat to validity of our work. Um, the bias in the selection study, uh, subjective interpretation about the extracted data, and also misclassification of primary studies. And the last, uh, the lack of expert evaluation. We have some conclusion of our work. So we notice that is necessary a con concentration of effort in the investigation of approaches for damage confinement and error assessments in adaptive systems and contextual systems. Other phases of fault tolerance have been explored by the literature involving adaptive systems and context theory systems. Efforts in atomic actions techniques may help the community to understand how the spread of errors can impact the behavior of adaptations in adaptive systems and context theory systems. Regarding the faults identified, faulting sensors seems to be the major concern for researchers. Only a small proportion of the studies uh, described or barely mentioned types of faults uh, that may occur in the system. So, more effort should be put into the characterization of faults for this type of systems. None of the selected studies was classified as evaluation research. So a conclusion is that it's still a challenge uh, for both practitioners and researchers to evaluate fault tolerance techniques in real world, for example, in industrial systems like that, uh, industrial adaptive systems and context aware systems. So that is all for today. Uh, thanks a lot.